in this time of increasing fuel prices, everyone is trying to extract more mileage as they can. Be it a car or a bike, everyone. As we see the trends for the past few years, we can see that the diesel buyers and the petrol buyers ratio is growing towards the diesel variants. Now, premium bar car buyers are also preferring the diesel variants over the petrol ones. So, here we have an SUV which looks costly but is actually very fuel efficient. It's the Audi Q5 TDI. I love the fact that the new Audi Q5 gets the proper upright stance that an SUV should get and I personally prefer it very much. Let me remind you, the earlier Q5 was not at all boxy. The new Q5 flaunts the bold front grille which looks dominating. Actually, the front looks a bit similar to the Q7. The sharp LED headlamps muscular creases and the edgy tail portion makes the Q5 a style statement. It gets the typical Audi design bits but still makes you fall in love with it. I always found Audis to be more sportier than the BMW and Mercedes. With the sporty look, the Q5 gets brushed metal finishes all over the body which reminds us that it's, it is classy and sporty. As we move on to its interiors, let me tell you first thing first, the dashboard and the center console neither look too jazzy nor too subtle. I personally like this four wood finish on the dashboard. The quality of the plastic feels good and long lasting as well. Let's take you through everything inside. You get the electric seat adjustment, a lightweight steering wheel with audio controls. On the side you can see the switches for cruise control. Since this is the top of the line variant, it gets the virtual cockpit as well. You can see the layout of the console and switch the views that you want and scroll through different information on the screen. Here are the switches for the auto headlamps. In the center, you get the electronic parking brake, the auto gearbox and the paddle shifters. A lot of cubby holes in the front. It gets three zone climate control and that's why you get two knobs. Right here is the floating infotainment which sadly does not get the touchscreen. I would personally want the touchscreen over here. For that, you get an optical trackpad and the knob selector. On the console, you get the rear parking camera and real-time front and rear parking sensors. It further gets a panoramic dual pane sunroof. The Audi Q5 gets a 2-liter turbo diesel engine which, and I like its free revving nature and it actually feels very quick on its toes. The top kick kicks in from as low as 1750 RPM and so the city commuting is not a problem over here. Although the turbo kicks in right after 2000 RPM and that's when the car goes push. The 7 speed DSG gearbox is very smooth and you feel literally no jerks while gear shifting. Even if you are driving at higher speed, at higher gears and lower speed, if you tap on the accelerator and there's minimum jerks. The refinement of the engine is very good and the cabin noise is actually just minimum and that's what you can expect from a diesel SUV. Over my stint with the SUV for a day, I did not need to use the paddle shifters even once because there's so much power on offer. Since this is a diesel variant, we have to talk about its mileage and also we have exaggerated on its mileage before. Taking it to a daily commute, it gave us around 12.5 km per litre, which actually you get from many petrol cars priced in the 10 to 12 lakh. Now, talking about the suspension and handling, for the large SUV like this, a mild body roll is expected. That's okay. Good to feel that Q5 has performed as what we expected. The steering is quite light and it changes directions so well that you actually have to hold it with two hands. However, we did not like the stiffer suspension offered on this Q5, uh, but it works on the clear on the clear highways, but not on the broken roads. Although you can select the riding mode comfort, which 
provides some alteration to the suspension but not that much to affect So you ask us what we like about this new Audi Q5 TDI. Pretty much everything. The space is good, the car is comfortable, it handles pretty well. The engine performance is more than what we need plus it's fuel efficient. We are yet to try its rivals but we can say that we like what we had over here. Priced at rupees 57.6 lakhs ex showroom. It seems like a pretty good catch. I can see this as my daily drive. Of course, not a chauffeur driven one.